What's going on? Back out here again at the good old tower. Uh, just came by real quick to get them hooked back up with some internet. When I moved everything out to the tower, uh, I couldn't plug their router into it anymore, obviously. So I was gonna beam them some internet, put a light beam on here and a light beam on one of the old poles, shoot them some internet, no big deal, right? Well, couldn't get any light beams. <laughs> So I was like, I can run you a cable. And they said, eh, don't worry about it. Just wait till you can get radios. Turned out it was going to be a while. So they said, okay, come run a cable. Then I ran out of cable. So here we are with radios. Not just any radios. I got something a little bit fun. These are Air Max 60 Gigabeams GBE-US. And these are way overkill for this, <laughs> by the way. But I'm going to be swapping them out with some... Uh, light beams this weekend or nano beams rather so get this i switched from nano beams to light beams because light beams were way cheaper and work great well for whatever reason uh nano beams are now only about five bucks more expensive than a light beam and nano beams are um prime shipping on amazon while light beams aren't anymore they take like two weeks to get here like okay well going back to nano beams <laughs> so i got a few nano beams coming uh, i'll swap these out for those later this week but in the meantime let's play with some giga beams shall we these are very easy to set up they're just like any other radio in the well most of the other radios in the ubiquity world you uh give them power they start up a little management wi-fi radio and you can um manage it through an app on your phone so that's what we're gonna do these are brand new in the packaging so i gotta take them out um they're actually a lot smaller than i expected Thought they'd be a little bigger but they're only maybe five six inches across they're pretty small which is kind of cool i guess and they mount to the pole just like the nano beams do for the most part with the little lock ring and the little ball joint thing and a hose clamp so stuff to be pretty expected nothing out of the ordinary yet now figuring out a way to record this while i do this it's gonna be fun uh where can i put you maybe right here maybe maybe are you gonna stay or are you gonna fall no can't do that okay so we're gonna go to plan b bit of an odd camera angle i know but you know when you make your own videos it's how it's got to go sometimes <laughs> this uses the good old hose clamp and nubby thing and if i have to show you how to do this you need help that i cannot provide you <laughs> this There we go. Just like that. And it's going over to that pole right there. Now, you put the little ball piece in here and you turn the ring around it to clamp it down so it doesn't move. You can get it kind of pointed where you want it, obviously. that there you go just like that sweet now i need to take the door off this box i know you probably can't see it but you're not missing much for some reason it's screwed on just kind of goofy but now as far as powering and getting it into the network it's just like any other you got poe injector one is for the lan which is the yellow one going into the switch one is the black one going to the radio which gives it power and transfers data so super simple even if it looks like a mess <laughs> everything's all plugged in and i'm like man ubiquity you can't even give us some freaking lights well <laughs> they're up on the top left and i have no idea if they're on or not, you can't tell at all in full sunlight. So I'm just going to log into my phone, pull up the UNMS app, and see if the thing pops up. Which it should. UNMS. Ah. Beautiful. I know there's some lines going up and down the screen. Sorry about that. But connecting. Plonk. So I'm just going to put some basic settings in here and uh, go plug the stuff in inside. So I'll go over this in a second, hold on. I'll put a video 
link up here for you guys as far as setting these things up. It's exactly the same as a light beam or a nano beam or whatever. All right, so basic, got the cable going outside. That does the PoE. LAN goes to in there where the router is. Uh, power, yeah, this cable's already up there, so now we just gotta go put it on the pole. I meant to configure this thing in the damn laundry room downstairs. So I didn't have to stand out here and do it, and I forgot. <laughs> it's hot. It's like 110 today, this sucks. <laughs> so I got that all mounted and I looked down for the cable and realized that my day just got a little bit worse. Because, yeah, I forgot that when I took everything down the other day, I don't know why, but I threw the cable off the damn roof. So the other end of the cable is down there. Why did I do that? Why? <sighs> Great. Well, at least I can go downstairs and configure the thing in the shade. <laughs> Uh, here's the rest of the cable, so at least I can test and configure it and stuff before ugh, actually mounting it, I guess. I mean, that's good, right? See, I planned it this way all along. All part of the grand plan, you see? Don't ever lose faith. But now I have to figure out a way to get that cable up there. <laughs> I know. I can find another cable or piece of rope or something. I can lower it down and tie it to it and pull it up. No problemo. I just found this extension cable. I'm gonna borrow it for two seconds because that'll work perfect. And I know some of you are like, you idiot, why don't you save yourself a trip and just throw it up there, tie it while you're down there and pull it up. And you would be right. I'm not doing that because I don't want to risk chucking it up here and breaking a solar panel. That's why. But that means I get to walk down and then walk back up here again and then walk back down again. At least that many times. Which, did I mention it's freaking hot? <laughs> hey, at least it ain't snowing. I tied the cable to the extension cable. Time to pull it back up. I am so disgustingly out of shape. It's probably good that I'm doing this. <laughs> there goes nothing. Eudemus. Got it. This tip looks a little bit kind of beat to shit, but we're going to go plug it in. Well, it's connected, but it's showing zero throughput. <laughs> Despite having a signal of negative 53 dB, which is pretty baller. Why does the capacity say zero? <laughs> uh, well, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the capacity says zero while throughput is doing things. So I guess it's working. Let's go find out. All right, so final little bit of recap. Um, I was hoping that would be a little bit more eventful for all of you, but honestly, setting those up was exactly like setting up the light beam, which check the, the thing over here, and I already did a, a configuration video on that, how to connect radios. It's exactly the same. Uh, same settings, same menus, same everything. The only difference here is the capacities don't show correctly. It just says zero, but it was working. I went in and, you know, ran a test and stuff. It was working. So I don't know why, but uh, I guess the app is broken. Maybe something needs updated. I don't know. And honestly, they're only going to be up for like four or five days. So I'm not even worried about it. Uh, sorry, it was kind of a uneventful video. I was hoping to crank up the, you know, the switch over to the capacities on the app and show like, you know, a gig or something crazy through it, but it was broken. <laughs> it didn't work. Sorry. <laughs> That's how it works sometimes. But in other news, they're back up and running. They got internet. They're all stoked. Uh, they've been without internet since Sunday. So two and a half days. Again, sorry that wasn't the most eventful thing in the world, but it's how it goes sometimes. Like, share, sub, all that happy nonsense. Later.